Boy, is it dark down there. Let's a go. Hi, everybody. It's me, the glowing guy. Hope I don't stand out. <laughs> Shucks. Oh, that you. I remember missing you and being so fucking confused about where to go next because I couldn't. It's like, hey, just go down here. A staircase leads you to here. What the fuck am I missing? Where's the world? I can't find anywhere else to go. I'm lost. Then it's like, oh, f there's a sneaky staircase here that you wouldn't notice until you turned your camera towards it. Back to the third floor. It seems that having a spear is not enough. No. Thanks, camera. <laughs> Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself, sir? All right then. Oh, you can't talk to him. Oh, human are you? I am Frick. I have been trapped here for an age. Perhaps you could help me out of here. I am a sage, and I can lend you my power in return. Oh, but take heed of those tentacle-headed guards. Perhaps you could help me. I am a say. Oh, but take heed of... Just gotta find that key. Erp. Is this the much more consequential one? Oh, yeah. That looks pretty deadly. And there's no jump in that gap. They put a they put a wall up. They don't want you surprising the game there. Again, the uh, the rest of the floor is inaccessible. Oh yeah, I believe we explored this floor, and that was the the pit followed by a fence that we could see at the beginning. So we've backtracked back to there essentially. But this is the part of the room we couldn't access before. But we don't have access. Not to him. It appears to be locked. You can see one of them. Just barely. Not so much anymore. But he's patrolling around. First floor key. Is that a fog door? Sure is. Still inaccessible. So that's where we're going for now. There's a crossbow that we could use in some of those other places. So what floor are we even on now? Good. It's safe here. Stab, 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 stab. I don't believe you. Yep. That was nice. Who taught you pricks magic? Come on over, buddy. I have surprises waiting. One more hit. Ow. Oh. Almost. Ooh, that guy startled me.
This one's locked. I'm in trouble. Please recommend this message. Very up, very uh, open about it. Are you Dr. Shouty Man, the man who shouts? West, second floor. You. Taunting me. I think this is the white world tendency door? Or bar barrier? You have to reach white world tendency to get through here? Yep, that's him. Hello, Dr. McShouty Pants. Well, you are a sane one, are you not? My name is Rydell. Please, liberate me from this jail. I have precious little time. I must retrieve an article from my corpse. He's like me. He's separated from his body. It's just accepted that people die and separate and go around as a spirit, but then go f back to fighting again. As you can see, the only thing that remains of me is my soul. My corpse lies in another cell. I fancy it a fine rotten mess by now. I've no interest in my corporeal flesh. But I left upon my person a keepsake of my late wife. I will soon fade into the beyond. My only wish is to do so near that token of my beloved. A retainer to the king once held the key to this cell. That foul pig with his gluttonous swaying belly. As you can see, I will... So, one of the officials apparently has the key to his cell. Although, is he beyond there? I think this debris only goes away at light tendency. A little yelling never hurt anyone. <laughs> he is very frustrated. Which, like, fair, I guess. Yeah, I never got a key to this area. There's not a lot to be done right now. But another sneaky staircase. Haha. -ha. I missed it this time, too. For a moment there, I was genuinely concerned where I was going to go next. But I've got this key. Watching for moving green auras. Don't want to be surprised by them. Oh, you. Whoop! Motherfucker. What a gargantuan dickhead. I am lost. That's fair. This is the place where you were likely to be lost. Good luck, have fun. Item will exceed carry capacity. Send to storage, I guess. It's the fluted set that I already am wearing. Okay. Yep, there he is. A guy wearing my whole armor set. That is so nice to have. God. I think that's like, yeah, one of the two places this would happen in the original game is... Here you would get the entire fluted armor set in one pickup, which is just an unreasonably heavy amount of gear to get in one button press. Like, it's a dick move. 
and then another zone you get the tower shield which i think is like fucking like 40 60 80 pounds or something silly like that it's like well, what the fuck that's way too much to just dump on someone and this is like a similar amount of weight but split between like five items and so you end up in this really frustrating struggle where you're like dropping a bunch of items on the ground in desperation because you want to get this new item and not leave it behind because once you've tried to pick it up which when you try to pick it up you don't know what it is until after you've already clicked on it once you've tried to click it up, pick, pick it up, it then shows up on the ground as like a spinning item uh, that is like the silhouette of the type of item it is. And if you don't pick it up before you die or leave the world, then it disappears forever. And so you're like, well, one way or another, I'm going to lose something in my inventory. And it's not, I'm going to lose it forever. And that's just a shitty situation to be in. Hi. So I'm glad to see that particular problem gone. Did we do the full loop? Yeah, we're here now. This thing can murder you so hard. It's preferable to not be surprised by these guys while it's happening. Because if its projectiles hit these things, then the en I think the enemy can come out and get you. And then suddenly you're dealing with a new problem. Whoop! Hey, dickhead! You can't get through this door. Ha ha! Hee 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 hee! Hoo hoo! Ow, ow! Fuck! It go bad fast! It's so bad. That's such slow damage. Nope. No, thank you. There it goes. It's fucking alarming. Hey, it's me, just the body amalgamate. Just having a swell time. Well, what would you like to do today? Die? I can help you with that. I've got so many arms with which to kill you. Does that dickhead lizard jump in a hole? I think he does. Ah, oh, fuck, I already triggered him. Well, that's it. Bye. He has a taunting little douchey animation when he runs away. True demon soul starts here. Trying to watch the doors to see which ones are openable while also keeping an eye out for whether or not there is a hole in front of me. Place keeps you really on your toes. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's the thing you're worried about. Even when you think you're backtracking like this, running can be really risky if you're not 1000% sure. I've definitely died thinking I was backtracking, but it was actually a place that had a hole in it, and I just. There I go. Off the cliff. In this place, you don't trust the level, you don't trust any of the dudes you see. Even the NPCs are unsettling, where you don't trust them in a variety of ways. You don't even entirely trust your eyes to notice the instant death pits that are hidden amongst the darkness. East first floor. This is just a place you play through with a continual sense of unease. No path ahead. It's a path here, though. And here we have a proper status change. Welcome to Gotham, or whatever. <laughs> You're in that prison for a long time, like an hour. And then suddenly it opens up. 
Right when you got used to the idea that that's all that this world was. You're like, okay, that other level's all of mine. This whole level's gonna be all... It's gonna all be a prison, right? Obviously. Just get used to it. Then it opens up and you're like, wait, what? What do I do with this now? An Estoc. That's probably a better dex weapon than the Repier. That's higher damage as a base amount because it weighs twice as much. But their dex weapons are so light compared to other weapons or even all the rest of your gear. Yep, the higher base damage leads to a higher damage scaling. Both could be good options. I think you can get behind this grate, can't you? Yeah, there's an item waiting here. We found. Very carefully. But it's, yeah, there's no ledge over here. Hmm. Yeah, all the way over there. Because the debris blocks our path down this hallway. So we see this item here and we've got to try to remember it. When we gain different access. Ha ha! Ha ha! Almost fell for that. This game wants you dead. A rare cutscene. Hi there. How you doing? Well, that's alarming. Yep, there it goes. Jeez. And that functions as another shortcut. It's always tempting to try to outsmart it and see if you can, like, survive it somehow. A Mercury Rapier plus one. Hello. Mercury gives you, oh yeah, it's poison damage. So it's 84 plus 11, so it's 95 damage. Compared to 102. Could be worth it. Probably a lot faster and more reliable. This is one of the only times this mechanic is used where you climb a ledge. It's so rare. I was so panicked. I'm like, how the fuck do I get back up? Do I have to? That sucks that I have to kill myself to get out of here. Because it's like, how do you know you can climb the ledge? Ah, oh, stabby stab. Beautiful stabby stab. Item. Is it though? Oh. Oh, it's another one, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, this one's weirder. You might actually have to kill yourself to get out of this one. I'm trying to remember. No, it's not that much of a ledge. I thought there was a, a bigger drop. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. I want to go home. No! Thank you for mapping it to circle, guys. <laughs> that was nice of you. There's no ways that can backfire, huh? Fuck. Well, that sucks. Now I gotta try to make my way all the way back. Okay. Welp. Time for our memory test. Do I risk running past these guys? That gets you in trouble. Fuck you! Fuck you! He does a little flourish. I'll see you in hell. I'm the Mercury Rapier now. To some extent, dying in this map can be like your worst nightmare because you're like, well, <laughs> time to confirm how well you know this map. Have you learned the layout as you've been going? Let's find out. Well, we're waiting. Good luck. Uh, I'm back. I'm back on third floor. It's this place. Oh yeah. Then you go down here. We still can't open these. Yeah, that little drop for the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes felt like a prank. Because it felt like they were dooming me. Like, haha, you're trapped here, but hey, we gave you a Stone of Ephemeral Eyes to make up for the death. Because that'll, like, essentially refund your death. But it's like, no, you can just press circle to climb back up that ledge. But that's, I think that was when I learned, I think that was when I finally accidentally learned that mechanic existed in Demon's Souls, was this ledge. But even when you know how to do it, it can get you in trouble. Meanwhile, this is the upvoted message. I want to go home. I didn't press circle. I thought you said circle was how you could climb ledges in this game. Isn't that what the tutorial said? This time I just walked into it, and it just auto-climbed. Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, whatever. I could have sworn that the message that introduced it said to press circle. Warden's Key. This is going well. Is the other side... Yeah. It's interesting how you misremember certain things. Because this thing leaves a really strong impression. And it's like, obviously there's a way across through here. So you inherently, I, I keep, I always remember this as being a direction you go in, but it's not, it dead ends. 
But this functions as another interesting shortcut. A lot of the things that are introduced as hazards turn out to be shortcuts in the long term. That's always interesting. Look forward to floor. Yeah, that's just how I got to the, the rapier I'm using right now. Look at me go! Here's douchebag again. Oh god. Woohoo! They make it really impactful with how it zoops past you. Like, oh fuck, that thing's going. Avoid fall. That one's more explicit than the other message was. Oh yeah, that's just this side. I have the Warden's key. I'd have to find the blue guy again, and I don't remember if it helped if it opens his cell. Is the blue guy on this floor? Oh shit. Yeah. I'm the Joker, baby. Oh man, it is hard to remember where he is. Please help me. I think you can only save him during pure white world tendency though. I think they just gave me the key that lets me open up these doors. Oh shit! Well, you're harder to fight with this weapon. Wow, this is just straight up the worst case scenario location to fight one of these guys. Holy fuck. Hallways are such a bad spot for this kind of enemy. It wreaks havoc on the camera, obviously, but also like, they, they what they desperately want is for you to be trapped in a straightaway like that, where you have no maneuverability to dodge their projectiles. Nope, that doesn't open on that one. Definitely makes me wonder how far some of these dudes patrol. There's one. There we go. I love this level for its atmosphere and other stuff that's going on, and it's even its boss fight, but I definitely get lost every single time. Like multiple, at multiple points. These are like a uniquely hostile enemy to fight. They're a real problem. Fuck you. Please die. There you go. That was one of the mistakes I was making. I wasn't two handing it. Whoop. Nope, that's the worst thing you do. That projectile's bad bad. Ah, fuck, I did it again. No. No 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 no. Okay, hide behind this. Oh, 
Ah. Take out your heart. Dude, that stun projectile is nasty. Can I open both doors? Nope. Yeah, this is where those gargoyles were, where the note was saying to look around. And this loops all the way back. Yeah, it was interesting to pick up on that dialogue she was saying, though, where she was saying that she knows the truth. That the goddess may die, but never for long, or something like that. And it's like, well, you're not wrong. Look at this spooky atmosphere. The Tower of Latria. Home of the learned, evidently. And there's rats. Suddenly there's rats. Visions of rats. I made a little noise. I swear the first level of every map is massive. Like a 90 minute playthrough kind of massive. But I think they all get sh way shorter, like immediately. I don't think part two or three is ever as long. In fact, I feel like part three is usually just like a hallway and then a boss fight. Like the first two are like the whole level. And the first one's always longer, I think. You, you definitely saw the difference between Boletaria part one and part two. Boletaria. Burden. That spooky view. Green lights abound. I think recommending messages gives gives you like a heal or something. I feel like they changed what it does from game to game. Like later games like to give you Estus flasks, but that doesn't exist in this game. Welcome to the safe space. Look for enemy. You, the man behind the curtain. Spy clothes, neat. That's a pretty good look. <laughs> Mixes well with everything else. You must want some really low... Like, it's good for your stamina regen and stuff like that. I usually ride the line, though, and get as close to maximum uh, weight as I can. Ride that shit close. Get as much armor as you can. The hood looks nice. One of the upsides to the mist, the misty, spirity view of your character is that it definitely kind of homogenizes your gear. You have less of that MMORPG 
wearing five random piece of, pieces of gear and none of it looks right together problem. Back down we go. The green permeating it all. This is a neat level. It always has been. All right, well, that's enough out of you, prick. You successfully shot nothing today, but s some asshole turned you on, though. Part of me always thinks that when I come running this way to pick up items that it's going to turn back on. Like the same guy I did it last time is going to do it again. Because somebody did it. It wasn't doing that when I walked in. It's only when the cutscene starts that it actually starts shooting. Boy, are you rewarded for coming back. That is a bunch of souls. And now it's a shortcut, so if you can find your way to there, then you can get back to here. Granted, I don't know how well I remember that path, but it exists. <laughs> Heroes should go here first. Correct. Much important. This place again? I can't open the door, so I assume you can't? This is a level that explicitly rewards you for fully exploring before you do something. Or I guess more explicitly, Betrays you for not doing that, or, or punishes you for not doing that. Because this is important. See, isn't there a hole in the grate? It's probably where all these deaths, yeah, all the blood, yeah. Where all the blood is from people unsuccessfully doing it. Somebody shooting at me? I cannot see them. Someone's trying to crossbow me, though. He's probably canonically the guy who turned the trap on in the first place, that dick. Unless it was this guy. You're the dick that's behind all of this. But he himself just looks like one of the prisoners. That's alarming. Oh, it's just a pot. I thought that was bones and robes. What can I see down there? The parishioners. Everyone's here to worship the idol. What do you want? I am but a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. What do you want? I won't cause you trouble. Well, that was brutal. <laughs> Didn't really plan for that backstab, but it sure happened. It's a bit unexpected to have the person pulling the machinery be just like one of the prisoners. Like, what do I what do I draw from that? Should I take that to mean? 
You're actually running lower on healing items because I am a mess. Just the hottest mess. Don't fucking die of falling, please. And it's just some Widow's Lotus, which I don't care about that much. There we go. Thank you, little Cliff. There you are. You prick. That did no damage. Oh, thanks for the reload animation. That's very good news for me. Oh yes, reload for me, baby. God, that's a gross noise. Ah. You should use your crossbow again. That works out well for you each time. God, she takes so little damage. Are you backing up to use your crossbow? Go ahead and do it. I want you to. Have that, thee. God, that's like 10 impacts worth of damage. That's how little she takes normally. Yeah? Oh, she didn't fire. Pull it out. Thank you. Oh. She's getting cheesy, isn't she? Ow! Watching her back away like that, it's like, oh, it's funny watching the AI essentially try to cheese you. Oh my god, she's still not dead. I thought that was it. There we go. That hurt. She gives you 1,200, so that's something. Yeah, beware of the black phantoms. I guess she's vulnerable to fire damage? little too welcoming. Always worrying when that happens. Yep. And the idol is in the stained glass. This could go poorly. Let's see how it goes. What plentiful arms you have. Nope. There it goes. Baby's nail. Gross. <laughs> Here begins the chaos. Don't step on those. Hey, I found the real one. Neat. This music sucks, by the way. Okay, you're not real. Ah, shit. 
Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. You're not real. Oh, fuck. Ah. Okay, not a lot of good angles right now. Okay, no. All these randos are gonna get me in trouble. There you go. She's real again. I'm not sure if there's a way to tell which one's real visibly. It's just the one that it's just the one that that suffers health damage on the real boss bar. Definitely good to clear out the randos because they will inflict pain on me. The kind you can't suffer quietly. But they're also a distraction. Well, fuck him. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're next to one of the fake ones. Oh yeah, but the, okay, so the fake ones disappear though when I hit you, I guess. Yeah. Where's my creepy piano though? The Fool's Idol song is really good in the original game. They just neglected it completely. God, I think the copies might have a Fuck! Are these in are these actually invisible? Shit. You're in trouble. Ow. Guys, I'm helping you. Stop it. Let me help you with sword. Yeah, I figured it wasn't gonna be you. Yeah, are the traps invisible in this game? I don't remember if that was what... But you literally have a visible health bar. Why am I attacking you? Ow! Uh -huh. Uh. Yep. This fight can go so bad so fast. And now we get to figure out how to get back. Oh god. And all my stuff is on the body. Memory test begin. Once again. That's a body, not a not a pit. They're deceptive. The um shit. Die! Fuck. No. Shit. Get out. Welp. There goes all my souls. Fuck. It's so easy to die against those guys. He surprised me. God damn it. I'm going the wrong way. He completely got me off caught me off guard. Cause these guys are always patrolling, so they're always in a slightly different position every time you encounter them. And they're reasonably easy to to run past until they surprise you. I think I'm amazed by how catastrophically wrong that went. This is a pretty big run back by this game's standards, I think. 
Unless I'm forgetting a shortcut. Which is probably the case, because I get lost like fucking crazy here. The thing is that Fool's Idol is just not a very hard boss fight, so usually... You only have to run back once or never? Okay, here we go. We're on the right track. I just need to not get surprise murdered by one of these guys, which, I mean... Good luck. Is this the front door? Oh, this is not the front door. This is the... Yeah, this is the back door. So this is, there, this is... I think there's a shorter way if you can find that path, but the problem is remembering where that was. Good luck. Still have two sets of healing items on. Yeah, the Fool's Idol is a gimmicky sort of fight where it's kind of just for fun sort of stuff, but... It's lethal enough that it can go cataclysmically wrong all in a few seconds. And that's where you get in trouble. Clear these guys out before they come after me later. Oh, you can't you can't completely take out these pews, can you? Thankfully we have hard souls, so I can at least use those when I want to level up later. Oh, she's she's sitting in traps. Okay, that gives us fewer problems. Lord, me. Yeah, that sucks. Kind of saw that coming. Thankfully, she couldn't hit me anymore. Ah, fuck. The same trap twice. So they stay active. Yeah, ideally, you want to memorize the traps, but good luck with that. You're a better man than I, I guess. Oh, we are chopping away at this health bar. We're halfway there already. Nope. As you would expect. Yeah, all of her duplicates disappear the moment you start stabbing her, I think. So you don't really have to worry about getting surprise shots from all around you. Oh my god, she's right here again! What astonishing luck. Ah. Yeah, it's... It's, it's worth it to get another hit. Fuck! That's bad. Fuck! What the f- Okay, come on! That's- that's like cheating, basically. Fuck you, game. That sucks! No, that's not good. <laughs> that actually really sucks. Come on, man. That- oh my god! That's, ah, uh, that's such trash. That trap should definitely have a cooldown before it can stun you again. I was fucking stuck in the middle of it. I was trying to roll out of it and I couldn't escape. I got fucking stun locked. No. That sucks so much. Damn it, I had it. That was going so easily. There's definitely a shorter way to get back, but I don't know where it is. I feel like I always look forward to this level, but then elements of it make me regret looking forward to it. Because of, you know, what it is. Because, like, it's a long, it's a long run back, and there's definitely... I do feel like I usually have, like, at least... Ow! 
at least one like unfair death or something that I then lose like five minutes to or something. Well, we're eating into our healing supplies. So I done fucked up and took a hit. Yeah, what, what led to those paths? I guess I'm mixed. I have mixed feelings because it's like a really cool level, but it is also so confusing that I genuinely cannot tell you how to get to Sage Freak or the Screaming Blue Man. What a thing to be remembered as. What a stupid fucking death. Alright. Go back to clearing these guys out. I just don't want them interrupting me. All these chairs generally get in the way too. She starts attacking. Did not realize that. I thought, I guess I went to, I took too long. Damn it. Ah! Uh, get out! Get out! Fucking get out! Jesus. Fuck. Fuck. Holy shit, man. This is going so poorly. I guess I'll try you this time. Oh, damn it! That weird, whatever the fuck that animation is. It's like if you press forward and attack, he does like a weird back step instead of attacking. That gets you in trouble. You're not real. There we go. Fuck! This stupid fucking trap. Yeah. Fuck! No, 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 come on, man. <laughs> Don't do this to me, me. <laughs> uh -huh. Were they- was it always exactly like this? I don't remember struggling like this. Oh, fuck. This feels harder somehow, but I don't fucking know. I thought- I don't think they changed anything, generally speaking. Fuck. I'm genuinely running out of healing items. You're also not real. Fuck! I am blowing it at like my dodges and stuff. Fuck. I don't remember any of these problems. Maybe it's because I had a strength weapon, so I wasn't, like, walking towards her with my attacks. That might have been part of it. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm gonna be out of healing items in a second. Shit, shit. Fuck! 
Oh my god. I'm having a terrible time right now. <laughs> this is a disaster. Do you have a health bar? Is there one here? Okay, there's not. Oh fuck, you're you're not real. There's even more of them than I thought there was. Okay, we're so close. Fuck you! Holy crap. Now I am like all curious about my past playthroughs. Like, did I always did I have this much trouble before? Let's get out of here before I get in trouble. Did I have this much trouble with that fight before? Holy crap! It might have been that it's a pokey. Weapon that push that pushes forward a bunch of times, so it's it's lower damage per hit, but it keeps pushing us back with each hit, and so it might progress into the traps. Cause I don't, I just don't remember the traps being such a massive problem before. But I don't know. Yep, you know, I always wait long enough between runs that it becomes hard to remember. What I'm doing differently. But whatever it was, it was wrong. Am I too heavy? No. Why am I not taking damage? It's like, it's not rolling far enough? Alright, whatever, I'll just go all the way to the top. <laughs> Speaking of me not knowing what I'm doing differently, I'm like, what? I've. This has worked several times. Why isn't the spot working now? Maybe I'm rolling... Is that time I went forward a lot? I think it has to do with like how far into your roll you are when you, you go off the cliff. Like different parts of the roll have different amounts of forward momentum. Like a strategy there. Did I just go the wrong way? I think I did. Goodbye, the rest of my health bar. Time to always be sad. Getting a free Mercury Rapier is one thing. I likely don't want to use it long term. Because you want to have a modifier that gives you damage scaling. You don't want to mod Oops. Let's put these away before I stab somebody. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch in your belonging. A dull demon soul. Actually, you have a heart of gold. 
Don't let them take that from you. Claws. D scaling with dex slash 70 damage. Oh my god, what a disastrously slow animation. I don't think I can get used to this moveset. Now like my spear rapier hybrid. Everything's got weight. One might say too much. You have a heart of gold. Don't let them take it from you. I mean, we're don't let them take it from you. Like I'm, just, like, I'm trying to think of, like, how would you say that? Because he's saying it weird. Don't let them take it from you. <laughs> it sounds like... It sounds like he's reading it, right? There's something weird about his intonation there, and I'm like, what? what's wrong with the way he says that? Something's wrong. Oops. I was trying to use it. Wrong menu. Good thing there's a bunch of hard souls, because I lost a bunch of them. I lost, I lost most of my soft souls. Except for the ones you get directly from the boss fight. So four levels once again. I should invest in my weapon upgrading first. So we need more sharp stone again. A lot more. You come back alive. He's still here. Oh, hello. There we go. That worked well. A large, sh sharp stone shard. So I still have that. So I just need to go back and up and buy six more sharp stone, small ones or whatever. Oh fuck! Oh, hello. Here we go. So it's a good thing I uh, I made sure not to spend all my souls on leveling. Or I would not be ready to do this. Ah, shit. Yeah, the scaling's getting better. So I need three large sharp stone shards, so I cannot level this up anymore. Be what I got. 
But its damage is getting up there now. If it be a blood, the demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame. Invigorated by a demon soul of scorching heat. Invigorated by... Okay. Yeah, he's talking about there's a specific demon you have to defeat in order to unlock the ability to use demon souls to imbue your weapons. But even then it gets complicated. We'll see if they added any kind of you interface elements to help you out, because in the original game, it's just actually hard to find out how to use the demon souls. At least a bunch of them. Because I think the I think the option to, to upgrade them only shows up if you have the really specific thing necessary. And there's no like blank recipe to be like, oh yeah, go get this and come back. So it's like, okay, when you have a spe the right kind of spear upgraded to the exact tier that you need, and you have the Phalanx Demon Soul, then it'll suddenly show up this, like, scraping spear option out of nowhere, and, like, stuff like that. But if you don't have every single variable right, I think you're just like, I don't know, fucking whatever. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the I, I believe the specificness of it is that in other games, you can just, if you just get the right weapon type, you can just imbue it with a soul, and there's usually multiple options. But in this game, you actually have, in some cases, I think you have to have the weapon already upgraded to a specific level, too, in order for the option to show up. So it's like practically a secret at that point. Only three levels now. Womp, womp, womp. So the world might be mended. Good luck, me! <laughs> I need to collect more healing items. Oh god. I have been blowing it. 